clips and we can blindfold all our problems. We can't lie, we love this shit. Bad habits. Yeah, you gotta have. What's up everybody? Sorry I wasn't here yesterday for an update. I've been at a 48 hour hurricane party. It's been insane. There's more girls and mothers than I've ever seen in my entire life. Farm animals and right when you get to the door they give you a pipe. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I've actually just been surfing the entire time. For those of you who don't know, if you live anywhere near the ocean and there's a giant storm coming that's gonna make waves, if you're a surfer, everything in your life gets put on hold. I had a bunch of responsibilities to attend to these last couple days. I got none of them done because there's been waves. That's just how it goes. If you guys want to help support relief efforts for the hurricanes, we always give money from these videos to the relief efforts to support the areas that are the most heavily affected by these hurricanes. So if you want to drop a like, it actually makes a difference. It's actually for a good cause. I also didn't post an update yesterday. One, because I was tired. And two, there wasn't much of an update besides the fact that Marco is weakening, which is the first storm that has moved into the Gulf of Mexico. So as predicted, Nobody has any idea what either of these storms we're going to do. If there's one thing that you can learn from me, and that is that 100% of the time when there's a hurricane, no one actually has any f***ing idea what the hurricane is doing. And, you know, they are extremely unpredictable until the second that they are completely gone. You can never count a hurricane out. They can easily strengthen just as fast as they can weaken, maybe even strengthen faster. So Laura is the big talk for the day. Out of the two storms, this crazy Fujiwara effect didn't take place. The hurricanes aren't spinning off of each other. The first storm was much weaker than the second storm. So even if that happened, the first storm would kind of just be sucked into the second storm. This one, since the beginning, has had the most potential it's bigger it's had lower pressure it has less of a wind shear ahead of it overall the conditions for this thing to strengthen are nothing short of favorable especially compared to the last one so we don't we still don't know exactly where this storm is going it does show a lot of the tracks heading west of new orleans pretty much smack dab on the state line between louisiana and texas so this is something to watch um like i said in the past hurricane harvey went from nothing to a category four very very quickly I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen here because I have no idea. I'm an amateur. I just go off of my gut and what I've learned off of watching storms closely for the last 20 years. Something to watch and something that I wanted to note about these storms is that when they're making landfall in general, there will only be a bad storm surge from the ocean on the east side of the hurricane. The wind has to be heavily onshore to cause big storm surges. Otherwise, flooding will not happen unless it's rain. So that side of the hurricane right there pushing all this water onto shore and the other side of the hurricane is actually sucking water out so this side will experience storm surge this side will not so always keep an eye out on that that is very important to know if you want a closer update follow me on instagram i always want to take you guys through the thick of the adventure and try to educate you guys and give you guys as much information as needed to stay safe and to catch some good waves i'm gonna go surfing now i'll see you guys soon for another update if needed keep an eye on this storm i might do another update tonight potentially in the morning i'm not sure it's unpredictable. There's no way of knowing. I love you guys. It's a base. Content will go back to normal as soon as this hurricane passes. Peace out.